Okay. Let us sleep, and then we'll figure out what we're going to do on this next day. Whoop. All right. Need to speak with the storyteller. Messenger. I got a messenger. Uh oh, cutscene. Demons. The demons are attacking. Okay. Please talk to Erebeth as soon as you can. Help us defend the tavern. Okay. All right. Uh, that the troops are ready. I don't think the troops are ready. I really don't think they're ready. I don't think they're ready. I, I really don't. I, I, uh... Erbeth's sword has been honed to razor sharpness. She is on edge, evident in the way she checks the fastenings on her armor over and over. Thank you for coming to our aid. Ready yourself, the attack is imminent. What's the situation? We're primed and ready to defend this place. The enemy is keeping quiet, but don't be fooled by the lull. The demons have the tavern surrounded. They could strike any moment. Um, I'm ready to defend this place. Iomade, help us. This battle won't be easy. All right. Yes, definitely. Yes, yeah, well, okay. No, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. All right, let's go with that. We are what we are, right? Can't do anything more than that. We are what we are. special favor upon yourself and your allies while bringing this favor to your enemies. You need sure to gain plus one luck. That's what we want some of that. Can I stack that? Nope. Got some. Yes! We needed that. Okay. Um, so you need to drink that.
perfect strike. Endure this! Scrooge. Is holding. Let's do that one. Slumber. Yes. One enemy creature within medium range. Wall negates. Vulnerability to the one enemy creature within medium range. Person there. Okay. Let's see what we got. Okay. Very pressing screen. If we did this, I need you to come over here. Survive me. Okay, we've got everybody coming. This is one hell of an epic battle we got going on here. So for mortals, your feeble resistance is at an end. I don't think so. There you go, Dwarfy. Right. Okay, she's about to get busted up. Mage armor. Go. Why is everybody split up? You're killing me. Literally. Okay. Come on now.
Yes, I know. I know. I'm trying to get you healed. Who's it? What's your healing? What's your healing? How in the Hades is he over there by himself taking care of everybody? Got my guy over there. All right. Yes, this is how it feels. Flip my freaking party. Now that dude's dead. Okay. Oh my god, this is going poorly. This is going so poorly. It's going so very poorly. Over here, where is she at? Look at that. Why are you running up there? You fool. Why? Why?
You've crossed the wrong mongrel. I'm dying. I'm going to die. This pain is excruciating. Aim carefully. <sighs> Make every strike count. Holy cow. Do I have anything? No healing whatsoever. All right, this is going to be a freaking screw fest. They split the party, went two different ways. Yep, everybody's gonna die now. I'm just roll, roll with it. Oh, and I got this big thing coming through. It's not bad enough, I can't keep my people alive. I suck. Yep, learn from my mistake. I dedicate my body to science. All right. Yes, I got to redo it. Why? Because I suck. No other words for it. Okay. First of all, scroll of bless. Uh, also, shield of faith. Set. I'm just going to do that. Yep. 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 Okay. Last time we split up, I'll let those guys...
Make every strike count. Alright, let's see if I can freaking get this this time. Okay. Last time my party got split up and I got freaking wrecked. It's over, mortals. Your feeble resistance is at an end. Okay, yep. Successfully confirmed a critical here. All right. So, what else? Your piercing screen. Survive me. No. No, no, no. No, okay. Spells. We're gonna save you for a good 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 one here, okay. Snowball. Stretch. The question is, can I freaking win this battle? That's the whole problem. I'm just, I'm at a loss here. I really am. But, man, what are you shooting at? Really? What are you guys shooting at that? You see this big, big bad thing right here? Would you shoot at that? Make every strike count. Seriously.
Alright. Yeah, just okay. All right. Well, that didn't work. Dead, dead, isn't she? Mind over muscle. I require healing. Yes, you do. up again? Uh, did I mess up again? No, I messed up. Again? Oh, she's dead, dead, isn't she? Hey! The 
Did I actually freaking finish the battle? <sighs> Is she dead dead though? I would not be happy if she's dead dead. Victory. Kinnis breast bat blah. Victory. Kinnabris bites back and our teeth are sharp. Arabeth is glowing with zeal and she raises her fist in triumph. Now, we take the fight to them. What are our losses? Minimal, the battle wasn't easy, but thanks to you, we chewed them up and spat them out again. And they thought they could break us. But they only bolstered our spirits. Will there be another attack? I doubt it. Demons aren't famed for their organization. We'll strike a blow at the Grey Garrison long before they regroup for a new assault. Congratulations on our victory. Item received. Heavy flail of weakness. It wouldn't have been possible without you. That reminds me. You found this among the attacker's remains. This trophy rightly belongs to you. Nicely done. Now our goal is to rout the demons in the Great Garrison, just like we did here. In dialogue. Level up! Alright. The... I got a... What is a stay of execution? What was that? What was the... No, no, no. Cancel. Okay, we're gonna do a deliverer. Again. Right. We're Slayer Deliverer, so we're going to continue to do Slayer Deliverer, because that's 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 what we do around here. Okay. Um, I got one ability point. I mean, it's not really going to help me any ways, right? If I do so, uh, eh. if I do, uh, eh, 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 I don't know. All right, it is what it is. Okay, four points here. Um, perception, persuasion. Actually, what's her name? Was good at that. Stealth, trickery. Stealth, trickery.
trickery. Trickery. All right, level four, Slayer Talents. Okay, so I get a Slayer Talent, and here's my Slayer Talents. Candy Observer, plus four on Perception Check. That's, I don't think so. Combat Style Feat, at second level, a Ranger must select one of the Combat Styles. The Ranger Expertise Manifest, no. Character that selects this talent gains a bonus combat feat. Fast enough the ability to allow focusing attack confused. When a character is confused, it hits a creature with a melee attack that deals sneak damage. Guts. I'm not sure what I should get here. I really don't. Um, jump up. Mystery Seeker. A rogue with this talent adds knowledge. Arcana. Slippery Mind. The rogue with this talent gains bonus on saving throws. Survivalist. Lore Nature. Terrain Master. Rogue with this talent favorite terrain is the ranger class trailblazer trap finding unbalancing trick weakening wound when making a sneak attack against a creature that has damage reduction the character's attack reduces that damage reduction for two rounds that could be interesting blind oh, I can't uh, get approved you know I'm wondering if I should take combat trick and then take like power attack. Combat trick. Uh, and take power attack. You can ch choose to take a minus one pit on my attacks. Um, that could be good. Choose one weapon type. You can also choose unarmored strike. You gain plus one bonus on all attack rolls you make using that selected weapon. Your penalties on attack rolls for fighting with two weapons are reduced. The penalty for your primary hand lessens by two, and the one for your offhand lessens by six. Normal, if you wield a second weapon in your offhand, you can get one extra attack per round with that weapon. Fighting in this way, you suffer minus six pendant on your regular attack um, or attacks with your primary hand and minus ten penalty to the attack with your offhand. If, you ha if your offhand was light, the penalty is reduced by two each. I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing here. Let's see. Kind of want to go with power attack. That's if I take this combat trick, right? Combat style, archery, menacing, two happen, two weapon, weapon and shield. Uh, shield bash was no. I'm not really. So either combat trick, because none of the other ones seem something I want to do. I'm making a sneak attack against a creature that has damage reduction. That seems kind of interesting, but I'm not sure I want to do that. I really don't. I really, really, really don't. I kind of like combat trick power attack. Take minus one penalty on attack rolls, but you gain plus two on all melee damage rolls. This bonus to damage is increased by half. If 
you are making the attack with a two-handed weapon, a one-handed weapon uh, using two hands, probably a natural weapon that adds one and a half times your strength modifier on damage rolls. Sponers of damage is half if you are making an attack with an offhand weapon. When your base attack bonus reaches plus four and every four points that are after, the, penal the penalty increases by negative one and the bonus damage increases by plus two. Okay. I'm doing power attack. Right? Y'all good with that? Y'all good? Y'all good with that? <sighs> I didn't have that before, right? If I was to take that off and go with like dodge, right? You're getting a plus one dodge bonus to your AC. Chaucer's are good. Makes you lose your dex bonus to AC, also makes you lose the benefit to this feat. So if I do that and then go here, it's dodge, right? Okay. Yeah, I want power attack. No, 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 no. I wanted power attack. Power attack. Power, power. Combat trick. Power attack. Next. Dang. I screwing that one up. That's all I gotta say. I kept screwing that one up. That was me. Alright. Where's everybody else? Where's, where's, where's baby where's baby girl elf? Where's baby girl elf? Ember, are you okay? <sighs> Tell me about yourself. They like, call me Ember. I used to live in the, the river city and now I walk with you. That's my story. Where do your magical powers come from? These tricks? I have them from my grandma. She used to be my my father's grandma. And before that, her father's. I've never seen her myself, but she's very clever and kind. When I lived on the street, sometimes she left food for me on the blanket in the winter. Sometimes I feel her stroking my hair as I fall asleep. But if I open my eyes, there's no one there. She also sent me suit. The girl scratches the crow beak and the bird grumbles happily in response. She tells Suit how to do different tricks and Suit teaches me. Okay. A lower religion check. It appears that the girl doesn't know who exactly gives her these powers, but you can guess from her words that her patron is Andoletta. A powerful archon, one of the Imperial Lords, also known as Grandmother Crow. Interesting, interesting. Um, why do they call you Ember? I've had many names. When I was little, Mom and Dad called me Dove, or Cricket, or Kitten. Dad called me his ray of sunshine. And when my mom was cross, she called me by a long name, a grown-up one. I can't remember it no matter how hard I try. Then, when I came to live in the River City, the good people called me different funny names like Ember or Torch or Smokey. I don't know why they call me the Bird Brain because I have a crow. They called me Lucky Seven because of my fingers. The girl raises her hand. The middle finger on her right hand and the two smaller fingers on her left hand are missing. They sometimes called me Grilled Meat and said I was stupid. But I didn't feel hurt. I mean, they're right. I really am silly. They didn't mean to hurt me. I like Ember. It's a good word. 
Embers are like people. On the outside they are gray and cold like stones, but they are warm inside. You can blow on them and they'll start a fire to help you survive a cold night. And that's wonderful, isn't it? Ember it is. Okay. Um, you're always so cheerful. How do you manage to remain so hopeful when we're surrounded by such horror? Hope. The girl tilts her head and continues with a smile. No, no. Hope is a lie. What should we hope for? This world is in the hands of demons. The gods can't help, or they don't want to, or they forgot about us altogether. The people know they're, they are about to be eaten by demons, but still they quarrel with each other and fight and steal. There's no hope, only us. Well, we'll have to win without hope. It will be hard. The entire abyss is against us. We can only win by some miracle, which means we'll have to make one happen. What other choice do we have? We'll work a miracle and win because we have to. The elf smiles broadly and nods to herself. Uh, I have to go. So go. The elf watches you with a radiant smile. Okay, where's the storyteller? Oh, where's the storyteller? Right outside my room. Imagine that. The blind elf looks better than he did in your last encounter. His clothes are clean and his, and his pale face has some color. The elf turns to you and listens closely. Is that you, my savior? I recognize your footsteps. Determined footsteps befitting a determined person. Allow me to thank you again for saving me. Please accept this humble gift as a token of my appreciation. The elf hands you a small black ring with two scarlet runes on it. Item received storyteller's ring. Erebeth has explained why you are looking for me. I warned the authorities of Kinnebras that the local wardstone had been desecrated. They wiped off my warning and paid for their inaction. When I lived in the River Kingdoms, my advice proved quite useful for a young kingdom founded b there by some resourceful adventurers. Too bad Holron and his advisors were not as far-sighted as to listen to me. I have examined many wardstones, but only in the one guarding Kinnebras did I see a flaw, a spot of corruption inside, a vulnerability the demons will surely use. They are able to spread the blight inside the wardstone, corrupt it, and make it their weapon. It frightens me to think what it will be capable of. The wardstone must be destroyed. Who are you? Why did you? Why did they let you examine the wardstone? The elf smiles faintly. I am the storyteller, just an old elf, and a bit more. I am old even for an elf. I've seen many things and have been to many places. Not so long ago, I witnessed the making of a young kingdom in the stolen lands led by a remarkable and promising individual. My advice on the complicated matter of conquering those lands proved useful to that leader. This is not uncommon for me. Some seek my advice or services, and I do not refuse. This is how I acquired my reputation as an old vagrant who has never hurt anyone, stayed out of other squabbles, but sometimes gave good advice. I had a few friends in Nerasane who vouched for my integrity. This is why my humble request to be allowed to see the wardstones was granted. I visited all of them, but only one found cause for alarm in Kinnebras. Do you wield some special magical power, some instinct? The storyteller chuckles. Yes, to a certain extent, but 
It is more of a gift. I can see the past, stories that have happened. I touch an object and shreds of its owner's memories are revealed to my mind. Their emotions, passions, tragedies. I see visions like I am them and their stories happen to me. This is my power. I've, pr I've been roaming the world gathering such stories for many thousands of years. One day I will gather them all. What blight is concealed in the wardstone? I'm afraid I do not have the answer to your question. To understand the nature of this blight, we need to understand how the wardstone was created. And it is hidden from me. I can only guess. Have you heard of the Red Morning Massacre? A dreadful morning remembered with fear even by those not yet born at the time. A demoness called Miango invaded the city with a crowd of her followers and started to do what demons do best, kill and desecrate. They say they covered the wardstone with pieces of dead bodies, splashed it with blood from the top to bottom. Could such an abomination darken the radiance of the gift of Iomade? The locals think this is impossible, but who knows? It was not the la last attack. Many demon leaders brought their unholy forces here. Even the terrifying Balor Koramazada. Their attacks were rebuffed, but they all, but they still reached their target. I think this is when the seed of corruption was planted in the stone. It wouldn't have grown on its own, but Descari himself has now come to take advantage of his weakness to open the abscess that has been festering for years, unnoticed by the people of Kinebras. And when the demon lord struck the blow, the weakened stone gave in. Now it's in demon hands and nothing is stopping them from spreading the blight throughout the entire stone and from it to the other stones along the whole perimeter of the world wound. Why did you travel to the word stones? I tried to see their stories, the visions I had. When I touched the war stones were unclear. I saw hundreds, maybe thousands of different stories at the same time. They followed each other like flashes of lightning. It was impossible to separate them. I couldn't understand where one of them ended and the next began. I have heard you, storyteller. In that case, you must make every possible effort to destroy the corruption. Unfortunately, I don't know where to get an instrument powerful enough to banish it from the wardstone. As far as I know, there is nothing like this in Kinneras, but demons might have something. I heard the dying roar of Terendelev, the silver dragon, the protector of the city. Only a truly mighty weapon could slay such a powerful creature. I would advise you to go where Terendelev perished and search there for something. I'm sorry I can't be more specific, but intuition and a strange sense of rightness tell me to point you there. Well, I have to go. I wish you interesting adventures. Let's see something here.